Welcome to the Intrepid Wanderers in the Land of Madeira. I don't know what episode we're on again because I just haven't caught up to posting my videos. But, you know, when I get them up there, you'll see them and you'll be like, oh, that's the episode. It'll be great. Um, we'll just, again, just because this is what we do, go through our things. So first we have our World Anvil page um, on World Anvil, which is a great tool for world building, which is why I like to show it off. Um, so you can visit us on World Anvil, check us out, and then check out World Anvil and see all the cool things they have to offer. You can check us out on the Twitter. Um, we also follow Super Blood Warriors if anyone is interested in a um, home-built game built by uh, my, one of my nephews. Um, independent game there. Um... That's also on our YouTube. Our, that's also on our Twitter page. But you can definitely have 15 followers, which for us is a pretty big deal. And we have the YouTube channel. So if you would like to check out our videos on YouTube, obviously, if you're watching this right now, you found us on the YouTube. Um, but we post our videos, uh, you know, once we kind of get our stuff, our act together and we did lose some videos, do some poor settings, um, on the, uh, zoom setup because reasons. Um, so we have a lot of episodes with no sound, which is great. I guess for those of you who, um, can enjoy videos with no sound, um, I probably won't post those. We do have eight subscribers, which... Hey, how do we get eight subscribers? I'm kind of excited about that, actually. Um, yeah. I don't know how to tell who our eight subscribers are, but um, it's pretty much the most exciting thing I think I've seen all day. Oh, my! I think my husband might be one of them, is what he said. Uh, yeah, so... Um, let's see. Kaifira, how are the uh, sales of the things? The sales of the things are going good. Of course, mask sales are still probably one of our highest things right now. Right, and we still have to work out the deets on the uh, on what it is we're gonna do for the uh, logo contest. The logo yeah. contest, the to be well, determined. Have two weeks because... Right, we'll have two weeks to determine what the what those deets are, and then we can put them out on our whatevers. Yeah. Um. Because then we could have some, like, masks with logos on them. That would get the word out. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I don't know where the intrepid mess maker went. Jan Fire, how are the, uh, how's the financial whatever things you do? It, you know, we're not in the red, so that's, that's always great. positive. So, yeah. Sponsors, anything okay. like that? Hmm. You know, our, um, we've, we've been able to maintain our sponsorships that we've, that we've had. <laughs> um, and I see that, um, intrepid mess maker here has disappeared, which almost tells me maybe he's hiding from the facts, um, from the social media. So that's, I think we're, um, I think he's failing us on the social media. Yeah. So I mean, I'm pretty, still pretty psyched about the eight subscribers. I mean, he usually fails us about the social media, though. Right. I mean, I'm used to it. I'm just that's, right. He, for some reason, today, he's decided that um, he stepped he, it up. He's not gonna face. Yeah, he's not gonna face the music because it's so right. bad. Yeah, he's like, "Ooh, this is really bad." So he's kind of stepped up his game in terms of just running away. Um. Yeah. Uh. So let me just pop this over to roll twenty. So, for those of you who kind of weren't here last week, Janfire, um, we actually played an alternative game last week, so we didn't um, advance ourselves. So, now we have to think about and remember what happened the week before last week, which is kind of a big remember. But, 
from what I recall, um, you all escaped from the three ships. Oh, there's Intrepid. Um, how are, how's the social media there, Intrepid Messmaker? I, I, that's where I just went. I went to the social medias and I was just, you know, just getting our name out there. All right, good. Okay, good. Uh, you know, um, New York Comic Con, we could, you know, we could start a thing. Just saying. Um, actually, I think unless the two, the two others of you have, uh, done something I don't know about, I think probably the only two of us who could get into New York Comic Con are Kaifira and I, because it takes a year to actually be able to get on the list to be able to get tickets. So it's like you join and then you have to wait and then you can be on the list to get ticket or advance tickets, I guess. And we joined like a long time ago, even though we've never gone. I was like, Hey, Kaifira do this. And she just did it because she listens to me. Because I love friends so very much. See? I take it it's in New York city. Yeah, that's the, yeah. I, I just know I saw an email that was like New York City Comic Con. I was like, oh yeah, I bet they're, I don't know what they're really doing though. Seems kind of sketch, like maybe they aren't going to do it. I don't know. I just know I saw an email and I was like, oh yeah. Um, okay. So anyways, um, you had escaped the, the ships that you were on and the kind of crazy, uh, I think it was a warlock wizard or some kind of, I can't remember what that character was, but he was pretty cool. Um, and you managed to, between, uh, Faloran being in her wild shape form and Teddy, or not Teddy, Janfire in the little boat, you managed to get away. The problem was... You, uh, you couldn't navigate for crap, and... You did a fine job. You kind of got lost and did, and turned around. Um, don't know where you ended up, but you did hit an island. Um, you investigated, checked out the island. Um, what, what did the people on the island... It was yams and something else. Sweet potato. Sweet, no. Sweet potato and... Uh, Yucca. Yucca, yes. Yeah. Yams and sweet potato are kind of the same thing. Yucca, yeah. Okay, so you made it onto the this island. The people there were a little bit odd. Like, you kind of walked around and found this little group of people. Um, they really oddly wanted you to stay, invited you, enticed you with some sweet potato and yucca. Um... It seemed to do tricksy things to you, but not really too badly. Um, they took you somewhere to check out their storage or something. Uh, okay. And then you went to your boat. Your boat had a hole in it. They started shooting. You did finally get away. The boat had a hole in it. They were shooting little darts, at you, poison darts at you, but you managed to scare them off as well. And I think that you finally kind of made your way into the water and were heading towards the direction that the um, these villagers told you to go or these little islanders told you to go, um, which was um, at least on the direction on the real 20 map towards the east. Just to give it a direction. Everyone kind of with me there? Yep. Okay. So, um, maybe she'd take notes. I don't know. It seems overrated. So you like our, you know, traveling on this uh, little boat. It's not a super huge boat, but it's fine. There's just the four of you. I thought it was a dinghy. Yeah, it's a little dinghy. Um, yeah, teeny tiny. 
yeah, it's not that big, but there are also four of you, so, um, it's, it's not the worst. Um, and you- Well, it definitely isn't the best. Definitely is not the best. You know, it's not like you got room to, like, you know- Turn into a T-Rex. No, um, and it's, a. Uh, you don't really have room to lie down or anything. You're pretty squished, but you know, you're living the dream. You're taking turns, I'm assuming, uh, paddling, rowing towards the direction that you're trying to go. Um, any general conversation, anything? I could fireball behind us to push us faster. Do you think that would work? No. Uh, I could just gust of wind if you wanted to, like... As could I. If that's really... We could just do a couple gusts of wind and kind of... I can row. I don't remember when our last long rest was or anything, but... Um, I don't remember what they threw for spells at those these weird uh, people, but... Well, didn't at some point, when we were on the boat before, we, um, Teddy did the, um, oh, oh no, I forgot. Tiny Hut? Yeah, Tiny Hut. That was on the big boat. Oh. I remember he went up to the crow's nest, built, I think okay. it was a red Tiny Hut at that. Okay. Got the crew. <laughs> Um, Maybe I could speak with some animals and we could wrangle some fish to uh, pull us. Or Florin and I can use Gust of Wind. I think you should not talk to a wildlife. I, I mean... You know, I'm just trying to help us here, you know? Get us going a little bit faster. I, if you want that, I mean, I actually could communicate with animals and that breathe water. Also that. So, I mean, they kind of just in general understand me. It's kind of a thing. Okay, uh, well, um, I could cast Glyph of Warding, so if anyone other than us touches the boat, it blows up. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Okay. Um... Any other great ideas there, Teddy? I could turn a couple of us invisible. I I suppose that is a thing, yes. Oh, I know. I know what you guys will agree to, right? Brilliant big big uh, big big idea here. Um Oh, I don't know if that would I could cast silence, oh. and then you guys don't have to hear me talk. I mean, there is some benefit that, I mean, that sounds really attractive, but I feel like we kind of maybe should. But it's centered on a point, point I choose, so I don't think that point moves. So Well, the point could be your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but that moves too much. That's fair. I I don't think it would work because our boat's moving and then that point would just stay the same place and then we'd move 20 feet and then we'd be out of it. So you're proposing something that's useless. Well, <laughs> no. Nothing of what I propose is useless. They all have their specific applications. Of which this one is not the correct application. Therefore, it's useless in this application. I would beg to differ. Okay, well, go ahead and do it. Are you begging or differing? I 
think um, the general bickering, you know, continues. I feel like that's how it goes for several hours. Um, and, <laughs> until, Why does it not go like that? Right? There's, there's just bickering. There's probably like some moments of silence. Um, then more bickering. Um, Teddy at one point tries to start a fire on the boat to boil water to make drinkable water. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, like... Hyphira smacks him, does control flame, and pushes the flame off the boat. Um, you, you while Florin puts water... Down. Florin does control water to, like, <laughs> put that... Try to save the boat? Yeah, save the boat. So there was, was like, a group of... And Hyphira does any mending to fix the actual boat. Yeah, so there's just a lot of shenanigans going on in general. Um... But, you know, after quite a few hours of just aimless uh, moving along, you you do um, spot, um, you start to spot some, first you spot some ships, um, you know, that you start to notice there are more, it's just like little ship, little uh, fishing boats and stuff, like not like huge ships, but you notice more people and boats kind of going through and um, you start to spot like land. Hey, look, they didn't lie to us. Well, that's that's nice of them. Every once in a while, somebody will actually tell you the truth. Mm, true. Oh, you know. uh, yeah. Every once in a while, somebody tells you the truth, huh? Yeah, most people not named Teddy. That's that's hard. That's that's mean, Kaifia. That's mean. Mm. That's very mean. Very mean. I never here. claimed to be nice. That's also, I mean. And really, how much li how much truth telling do you actually do? I tell the truth. A fair mm. bit of the time. <laughs> uh huh. At least 50% of the time, I'm telling the truth. Uh-huh. Yeah? So are we going for this land? Yeah. <laughs> now, let's just go back out into the ocean. <laughs> That's what you would actually do. Luckily, we have two people <laughs> that can um, push us towards the land. Hey, maybe if I fireball into the air, we'll get a no. boat to come over to us to come no, help no, us no, out. No, 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 no. We aren't doing any flashy problem causing magic y anything uh. until we know where, A, where we are, B, who these people are. We don't even know anything about this land. We could end up at the exact same island that we would have if we would have stayed on the big boats. That's a possibility. But what are the chances with the way our luck goes that's actually going to be the case? It's fair. No, no, not the original boat. The boat we jumped oh, the, off from. The, the boat, the boats that were attacking us. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, then with our luck, highly probable. Right. Yes. Very likely. <laughs> so, what you're saying is, I should just shoot a fireball at him right now. No, because we don't know this for sure yet. But you just said it was highly likely that. Doesn't. It's not a hundred percent. Well. In so it's both not 100% that that's the island, and B, even if it is, do we really want to give away our position without an actual plan? Um, I feel like we had a plan last time, and nobody <laughs> stuck to it. So okay. it doesn't really matter. Let's uh, be honest here, guys. Roll, you're, you're waffling as to if it's the island that you just left? No, if it's the pirate island. Oh, okay. No, it's definitely not the island we just left, obviously, because um, I know exactly be where we are. Yeah, right. Uh, 
So I fireball behind us to give us a speed boost? No. Uh. If you want to go faster, Corin and I could do Gust of Wind. Can we see, like, any inhabitants, you know, like a town or... I roll a perception. Oh, goody. This will go well. I got a 12. <gasps> oh, it actually did go well. That's amazing. Uh, 22. Okay. Um, You look and what you notice is that this... It's like a, it looks like a, at least a town. There are multiple docks, um, the, that are, um, housing that, you know, for different types of ships, there are smaller, um, fishing vessels. Um, there are some larger ships that are kind of going up. It's like, it looks like an active town as opposed to a um what's the word i want to say as opposed to any kind of like um place where where shenanigans would happen yes (laughs) doesn't have to look like a place with shenanigans as opposed to like a pirate stronghold We tend to cause the shenanigans. Um, I don't know. That last pilot pirate stronghold we uh, went to was pretty much a town, wasn't it? It was ruins that they made a home out of. Hey, uh, it's was that a... Clear. Wait, the, the place you just left on the island? No, Dungeon. No. That oh, that. yeah, no, that was... Those King ruins. Dungeon. I, he was one of my favorites. He's really cool. He was the best. I think him and M tie for oh, my favorite characters. <laughs> <laughs> it's just making him cringe and it's funny <laughs> that is kind of funny <laughs> you don't want to see Emma again uh, gee I hope that whole town burned to the ground wow that's <laughs> so cool no it basically did I, well not burned but most of Kiaton got just most of the inhabitants were killed or captured M liked you so much. Ooh. I'm glad we left there. Oh. Okay. So are you what are you doing? We're heading to shore, I guess. Okay. So, um, let's just... I mean, where else do we have to go? Back to the ocean? Basically. We might as well give this piece of land a try, seems as how, the, seems as how well the last one went. They were nice and, enough. And hopefully we end up actually getting some real rest. Maybe there's a hotel we could stay at for the night. The Nota Motel. <laughs> Why is... Oh, I know what's going on. I gotta log this one out of this account. Do, do, do. And so let me just resize this. Okay. Uh Hmm. I'm gonna say you arrive at like the you end up pulling into like the middle dock there on the uh, the old map. 
Those buildings could have been a little bit smaller, huh? It's fine. It's fine. It's pretty fine. Um, uh, as you pull into the dock, uh, like a burly, um, dwarf comes up to you. It's like, oh, hey, uh, how's it going? Uh, who's a uh, junky little boat you got there? Um, uh. Ooh, is it sinking into the water as we pull up to the dock? No, but it's so tiny. He's just like, I don't, do you want me to strap the, I don't know what you want me to do. Maybe we could just pull us ashore and. Can we sell it? Yeah, if you want to sell it, I mean, I'll pay like, uh, four silver pieces for it. Five. Sure. Deal. It has a lot of history. Okay, great. With somebody else. <laughs> Um, he's like, that's great. Oh, uh, we can, you know, use that with another ship or something. Uh, welcome to Wonder, Wyvdrin, Wy 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 Wyvdrin Piers. Uh, you must be, uh, must be your first time here. Why, why, when, what? Wyvdrin. Sorry, can you, can you say that again? Wyvdrin. With, uh, Wyvdrin. Wyvdrin. It's got that W, um, Wib, Wimble, Wimbledon Piers? Wimbledon Piers? Is that, is that um, Piers. Wimbledon Piers. I got it. Okay. I figured it out. Okay. Wimbledon. Great. Ugh, this is, Wimbledon. this your first time in town? Yeah, I get that real it emphasis is. on the H. Wim, 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 Wimbledon. <laughs> Whip. Whip. Whim. Okay, anyways. Wimbledon. Ah, uh, yeah, uh. Great. Oh, um, yeah, it's nice to, uh, have you here. I don't, do you need any, uh, are you looking for anything in particular? Do you happen to have any maps? Do you, wait, where are we? <laughs> uh, like, in relation to everything else. I know we're at, like, Wimbledon Piers, but, um, like. Like, in relation to, say, the Collapsing Isle or Mooncarn. Literally anything else in the world. Oh, you mean like where, where, uh, where in the world like, are you? Yeah. If we yeah, were completely lost. lost <laughs> no, we are. If we it's, were. It's not, it's not if we are. It's we are. Okay. You, like, so just... like if somebody were completely lost and they happened upon Wimbledon Piers, <laughs> um, what would you tell them? about where they are well i would tell them that they are in the con continent of uh xylacol um the, the west coast of uh xylacol um they are i'm just i don't think i have the right map handy maybe um, we don't we don't need a passport do we uh, no, no, uh, no passport I needed, I guess. Uh, no paperwork. Not, not even a passport card? Well, so, um, if you, you do want to travel further into the country, you probably should get a passport of some kind, but, um, for this particular... Uh, we got, we're fine, we got those. We got town, I, I we think that you're, you're probably all set. Uh, we're a pretty... We're uh, world travelers. Right. Yeah. Um... Oh, we, we got the, um... The uh, um, the the visa, the entertainment visa. Oh, okay. Got uh, a student visa. No, we're entertainment. We're entertainers. Is that the anyways, uh, anyways, anyways? Is that the F one visa or N one? The F one N one visa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, miss. No, we have, <laughs> we we have entertainment visas. We're we're banned. Oh, band. Oh, did you come to play at the, the tavern? Yes, Teddy will sing for you. Do we need no. um does it need does it need like uh is it is it like reservate do you need to um apply beforehand? Uh nope, no, you don't need to uh, apply beforehand. No. Nope. No need for that. They just accept oh. any they just accept walk in acts. What the I I did all of this stuff for this town, and now I have to remember what I did with it because y'all threw me off last game. Blame Janfire. It was his fault. 
Wait, was this like the one time that you like really, really prepared? I did. I went through and I had like all sorts of stuff all set up for this town. Wow. I knew and that. I managed to just completely screw you up. Um, I knew all the people and everything and who would live there. Um, I just made up a person now and I don't even, it's fine though. But yeah, no, I was all good. I was like, whew. That's okay. I'm going to find it. Every once in a while, I have a moment of like, oh yeah, I'm going to flush this town out. I'm going to know things. I mean, I still probably won't know all the things, but. I'm not gonna lie, kind of like the scrimp, dude. <laughs> Your little dragon. Oh my god, he was awesome. <sighs> I fear did all the talking. Or, yeah, it wasn't me. I didn't have to do all the talking. I didn't have to talk to anybody. Good stuff. I mean, I guess I don't have to do the whole talking, but it's just, it's just, you know, it's just part of the character, you know? Um, yeah, so you're uh, looking for the tavern? Is that what you're, uh... Is it also, does it double as an inn? Yes. Because we might need rooms. Uh, we haven't decided. We're uh... probably going to need rooms. We're probably going to need to at least stay one night right guys yeah probably I mean, we, we just sold our boat rest. <laughs> we did just sell our boat so right well uh you are looking for the splendiferous adventurer um it's owned by a, a woman named Kraya Ninus. she's a gnome Oh, another gnome, huh? Splendiferous what? Uh, the Splendiferous Adventurer. I mean, don't don't worry too much. Um, the uh, proprietor and her husband are gnomes, but the most of the staff is uh, humans, so you should be mostly comfortable. Would you mind pointing us in the direction of the Splendiferous Adventure? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, that would be... Let's see. Oh, it is... It's actually right down the way here. Um, so... We're uh, just right here at this dock. Um, and if you just walk down this road here... It's uh, right here on the end. Uh, it's right there on the end of the street, so uh, you should be uh, able to find it pretty quickly. Thank you. Oh, uh, you're most welcome. Uh, oh, we had asked one other question earlier. I think we got a little sidetracked by the whole Visa thing. In relation to Mooncarn, Collapsing Isle, things, of, islands of those sorts, where are we? How far are we from them? <laughs> uh, uh, I ain't too good on the uh, general. Uh, well, we're like on the, of the eastern sea. part of the sea, right? Yeah, we're on. Uh, you're on the eastern part of the sea. Yeah, that's correct. So we'd have to go back west. Where I think we're pretty far away. <laughs> We'll, we'll I think we've actually gone the exact opposite direction we were going in before. I think you're right. Like, just off from memory-wise. I will remind you at one point that the map that we had was crooked. It was twisted. We'll worry about finding... <laughs> that's, that's fine. <laughs> We'll find a, a map or something. Uh, there are there if you uh, there is a general store in town. Um, some merchants 
Um, and some of the other sailors, uh, I just don't uh, sail a lot. I just um, work here at the, the boat, the shipyard. Um, so you, you might have some better luck with some of the other sailors. Um, they might be able to help you better orient yourself. I'm just not... Uh, you, you understand. I, I just, I personally don't travel by sea. Well, thank you. We'll see about getting rooms for the night, and then maybe we'll, we'll find I, I think merchants. most likely you'll find someone who should be able to tell you Orient a little bit better. Thank you. Okay, so we have a plan, right, guys? We stay in this town for one day, in and out, no shenanigans, no getting in trouble. That's it. In, out, okay, we're off to the next place, easy peasy. No trouble, no side things. Right, right, guys? I'm in agreement to this. Are you actually <laughs> going to follow through with it? Hey. Is it a bar? <laughs> Barn where? A bar. A bar? We're gonna go to the inn and get rooms. What sort of day is it, Sarah? Uh, it's, uh, I would say it's near the end of the day. Um, okay. Great. Drinking time. At the inn oh, we'll be staying. It's 5 o'clock somewhere night. in the world. It's 2.30 somewhere in the world. It's 8 in the morning somewhere in the world. Yep, somewhere. But here, we can get a drink. That's... We're gonna go to the inn. Stay the night. In, out, no trouble, no shenanigans. Right, Teddy? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hold on, wait, let me flip this coin to see uh, if I was lying or not. What are you, two-faced now? Uh, no, I just said it was 50, at least 50% oh. of the time. I'm telling Definite you. shenanigans occurring. Daddy, Daddy. Oh, uh, what? We we should practice pickpocketing. We should not do <laughs> such things. Yeah. I'm talking to uh, Kaipira. You walk down the street. Okay, Jan Fire. Kaifira is the hardest person to pickpocket on this earth. I know for a fact. So that's who you should practice on. Uh. <laughs> I think the opposite is true. Anyways, we, we walked down the road, Sarah. <laughs> I duck into the shadows. Roll stealth. Uh, nineteen. Oh, okay. Um, seem pretty pretty well hidden. The rest of you, maybe. Uh, I mean, unless you're gonna actively try to look for him, you kind of don't realize where Janfire goes. You're like, uh, where did Janfire? Did you see where Janfire went? I'm gonna hide behind people, um, okay. but follow them. Okay. See, Kaifira, it's not only me who gets into shenanigans. Jampire has just completely disappeared. Then he's on his own. Wait, is that what you always say about me when I disappear? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is what she says. Frequently. Uh, you, uh, um... Janfire, you you kind of like weave in around people and stuff. Are you just you're just trying to practice being stealthy, stealing stuff? Yeah. Okay. Um, no, not not stealing, just stealthy. The rest of you make it up to the tavern. Um, yeah, entering uh, the, the little gnome comes up. Hi there! Ah, uh, welcome to the Splendiferous Adventurer. Ah, uh, my name's Kreya. It's uh, nice to meet you. 
Uh, how many are you just looking for food, for rooms? How, what can we do for you? We're looking for, well, we'll be looking for food as well, but we're looking for somewhere to stay the night. Well, we can do that for you. Um, let me just, uh... Let me just see how many uh, will be staying there. Are you, are you staying with one of the men here? Is this what it is? Are you staying? Oh, two, two women and one man. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> hey, wait. Finally, it's not about me. <laughs> we do have another member of our group who has wandered off somewhere. Three. He is also a dude. Oh, okay. Man. Oh, well. All right. Well, all right. Um, it's awkward, but all right. Uh, you don't judge here, do you? Oh no, there's no judging it. Oh, good. Otherwise, we'd have a problem. Well, what kind of problem would we have? Um, I'm. Um, I guess we just wouldn't have to. We just wouldn't stay here. Well, where else would you stay? There's no other, no other inns in town. <laughs> You have a monopoly on inns? It's a fairly small town, so I do, I guess, if you want to. It's the only decent place to stay in Wendelin Piers. They allow monopolies here? Apparently, Janfire. Anyways, well, I like how you've just magically appeared. I know. Um, oh, uh, oh. I was oh. only a little bit behind you. Uh, anyway, so um, it will be six silver pieces a night per room. How many rooms would you like? I don't know how many rooms are we getting, guys. I mean, it. Do you have rooms with two beds? Cause she and I could share a bed or share a room. Jeez. <laughs> oh, we we got some rooms that will serve you well. Yes, we do. Uh, so two. Uh, so a room yeah. for two for you, and the the two of you gents, and the same for you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. I would like to insight well. check. <laughs> the roll insight. Who are you insighting? Fourteen. The innkeeper. How badly is she judging us right now? Call the judge. <laughs> you can definitely tell that it's well, it's not really judging but she definitely um found it very odd she's definitely taking liberties with your stories of course when she goes uh over to the uh thing uh ramney can you we need uh two of the uh two of the doubles can you, uh, we need keys for two of the doubles. How many nights are y'all staying? Probably just tonight. Just tonight. All right. One night. Uh, so that's 12 silver pieces. Uh, she gives you both some keys. I, I think these will do you good. Um, so the room numbers are on the keys and, uh, there's, uh, those rooms are upstairs. If you need any help, uh, the staff all wears, um, uh, red, uh, aprons. You can ask any of them to help you out. Uh, for directions upstairs if you get lost. Um, otherwise, you can uh, have get some... Get lost? Well, if you get confused, I don't know. I'd... Confused? Um... If you want to have a seat and have some food, uh, you can choose any spot you like. Thank you. And she goes off to do some other stuff. and uh, She goes and whispers to her husband, uh, Seems... Can I hear that? Can I? Can you uh, uh, roll perception? Uh, uh, it's seventeen. Um, you can sort of tell it's something about you, but you're not really sure what. Who? Start. Haven't even been here five minutes, and they've already started rumors about us. Whatever. We're only here for the night. Hey, nice. any pub, any pub, pub, publicity is good publicity. You know what they say. We aren't a band. We are a band. Not a band. 
are. We go and find a table. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, a young, um, a young female comes over to you. Uh, oh, uh, what can I get you to eat? What do you have? Uh, why are you looking for dinner? Food, is that it? Yes. We have marinated mutton chops, pork, broth with bacon, eel stuffed trout, boiled crawfish with drawn butter. You know what I could really go for right about now is some chicken. You got any chicken? I don't have any chicken. No chicken, huh? Sorry. I'll have the mutton chops, please, with water for a drink. Okay, that's uh, six silver pieces for you. Is everything in this place six silver pieces? No. What do you want to eat? How is a room the same price as a meal? Uh, the... That seems expensive. Look, I'm not... I'm not... I'm just... I'm just doing my job. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Can you get a, a porterhouse steak? I don't have any steak. I got pork. Mutton chops, broth with bacon, eel, stuffed trout, or boiled crawfish. Stuffed trout. Okay, that's five silver pieces. That's still really expensive. Seems pretty expensive. I don't me. know what to Which, tell you. It's what the menu is. What do you got for uh, for uh, um, alcohol? Okay, well it's a pretty long list. Um, are you ready? Uh, yeah. Beer, heavy beer, ale, spiced ale. Mead, spiced mead, table wine, Kyosh wine, it's golden, Sundish Dang. lilac wine, Ernest wine. Okay. I didn't finish, so I, there's more. I heard you had. That's okay, heavy beer. I heard you had table beer, but do you have any chair beer? Uh, chair wine? I don't. Chair, you had table wine. Chair. How about chair wine? I don't have any chair wine. No uh, chair wine, huh? The. Uh, Heavy bears, three copper pieces. Okay. What are you gonna eat, sir? I uh, can. Uh, can you say it one more time? The dinners. Yes. I would like. Uh, there's marinated mutton chops, pork, broth with bacon, eels, stuffed trout, and boiled crawfish with drawn butter. Um, what was what was the third one again? Broth with bacon. Oh, okay. Um, what what was the last one? Well, crawfish with drawn butter. Uh, how much is that? It's four silver pieces. Oh. Um. Oh. Well, uh. How. <laughs> How much was the second one? Uh, the pork is five silver pieces. Oh. Got anything for four, uh, three silver pieces? Yeah, the broth with bacon. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want that one. Do you not like bacon? Or you don't uh, like can broth? Can you read the list back to me again? Yeah, it's uh, marinated mutton chops, pork... Broth of bacon, eels, stuffed trout, boiled crawfish with drawn butter. He doesn't actually want anything to eat. How much were the mutton chops? Uh, six, six silver, silver pieces. pieces. Huh. What, what came with the mutton chops? Well, they all come with a side salad and a roll um, as part of the meal. How much for just the roll? Uh, the you get the roll as part of the meal. We Teddy, don't sell them on the side. Something. 
Uh, Florin also, she orders the stuffed trout. Teddy, is the money the issue? Because I... If this... <laughs> no, I just wasn't paying attention. Um, I'll have the mutton chops. Okay, that's six silver pieces. Uh, that seems good. Do you want anything to drink? Water. Okay. Who wants beer? We do have dwarf head stout. That's uh six gold pieces, in case you wanted to know. It's really um pricey. But um okay, I'll bring your order over in a little bit. And so she goes off and gets your order, brings back the uh the drinks first, um, with the side salad and roll to start, and then later on comes out with the other things um to eat. Uh, oh, oh, I see this. This is so crazy. This site oh, literally... We don't, want, we don't want crazy. No, this site literally gave me a staff for the whole day. So I probably picked the wrong person, but it's fine. So like at 6 p.m. it literally told me i like i've i've poorly played the staff but it's fine i picked the wrong person okay but did it taste like a six six silver piece worth of um, roll perception. Roll perception. Ho ho! 24. Ooh, um. I mean, you've definitely had better, but it tastes pretty good. Um, all around you, there's some, like, you know, bar people, um, there's some people on the side. Uh, <coughs> there's somebody hacking, coughing. It's a female. Um, Put your mask on, sir. Uh, some enhancer, a, a face mask. Um, uh, you know, just some generally some patrons all around the, um, the little. It's definitely a busy tavern boy i sure hope nothing crazy or wacky or wild happens while we're in this town that we have to figure out or solve you know that'd be crazy why would you say that you're basically asking for it to happen i'm not i'm not asking for it i mean it wouldn't it just be i mean like every town we've been in something weird has happened right what a coincidence is that this town that we now arrive in out of the blue, something weird, crazy or wacky happens, you know? There has to be at least one town that hasn't had something happen while we were there. I, I, I don't, I think every town something weird has happened. I don't think we've encountered a single normal town now that I think about it. Um, while you're there, um, you do see that the, the, um, the owner, she kind of, like, walks around to people. She socializes. You can hear her, like, whispering to people. And then, like, um, there are a few people as they walk by your table. They're just, like, they kind of, like, stare at you awkwardly. But they're, like, not, like, super awkwardly, but definitely, like, they kind of give you a weird look, like. <laughs> oh, come on. The owner. <laughs> Rumors. Oh well. I should have told her about our band. Ask her when you go play. I 
Kyphira said I couldn't start any trouble in this town. If you want to just play your lute, her band, or whatever, just don't start singing. I don't know. I think I've played in every single town. And in every single town, something wacky or wild has happened. So maybe wacky or wild things happen because I play. Hmm. Then you're now a bard that cannot sing or cannot play and cannot play if you mm. follow that logic. Well, I mean, you just said I could go play, so if something wacky or wild happens, it's on you then, right? Isn't it? No. Ah, uh, some, uh... A... Oh, okay. Um, a, a fairly heavy, not to be biased, but a fairly heavy, um, human, uh, walks up to you, um, just says, What you're doing is not morally correct, and I think that you should think about your choices. Uh... I'm eating and drinking. I think you know what I'm talking oh, about. Yes, excuse me, sir. And what are we doing? I think you know what I'm talking about, and I think that you. I'm just I telling you. I actually have no should. idea what you're talking about. We think about your choices. And he just walks off. It's just very strange and weird. I think you hey, should. Can I, can I try to trip him with my staff? Sure. Like, without um, anybody seeing? Try, I guess, sleight of hand. I don't know. Seems like the best I got. Sleight of hand. Fourteen. Uh, yeah. He he kind of like trips it. He's like, huh, does he just looks he huh, he like he's definitely like, who huh, this is very disrespectful and uh, you will. He walks out, and a couple of people giggle. Are you having trouble walking? You, you might want to drink a little less. He uh, walks out of the uh, campfire. Inn, right. or tavern. Um, it was better than the other thing I was thinking of doing. Which was? Oh, just hitting him. All right, yeah, fair. Slightly better. <laughs> bar fight. Bar fight. No. Oh, no bar fight? No. Tavern brawl. Tavern no. brawl. <laughs> uh, and, um, two, uh, two druids, you can kind of, uh, Kyfer, you can kind of tell they're druids, um, walk up to the table. Um, one of them, uh, is the one that's coughing and just kind of a little bit, um, awkward. Whoa, uh, six feet there, pal. Uh, uh, I'm sorry about, um, Grelin. He's, uh, he's just, he's, he's right opinionated. Uh, he don't mean nothing by it. It's fine, I, though. Whatever I, he's thinking we're doing is incorrect. I'm, you can do whatever you want. I mean, there's no, no right or wrong, right? Like, I'm, no... We're not judging. Okay, but what what are we doing? Because I honestly have no idea what we're doing. Well, it's 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 just that uh, I I mean I I don't think it's my place to say. And then the the one that's that's coffee is just like oh, that's coughing is just like oh it's just uh, <coughs> Cray kind of said y'all uh, we're um, maybe same sex couples. I mean, it's fine. I don't have nothing against it, but it's just weird around these parts, it's all. I mean, I don't think that anyone ever said that. Other than Cray, who well, was making stuff up, but that's what... That's Cray is there. a bit prone to uh, making up stories, and uh, she's well-intentioned. Does a good job here at the tavern, but is um, prone to uh, um, 
make up stories and uh, uh, starting oh, rumors. Yeah, to get people huh? yeah, upset. starting rumors. Yep. Maybe I'll have to go have a chat with her then. Oh, I mean, hey guys, Teddy, we're only here for a night. She don't mean no harm. She's just no, 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 no. I just... think I need to go have a talk with her right now. Get this all straightened out. I swear, if you get us kicked out of the inn, Teddy, you'll be in trouble. Um, well, I'll be in trouble. That too. I just, you know, sometimes it's better if you don't make a fuss. That's all I'm saying. Um, where is where where is the inn owner? Roll perception. <sighs> Ooh, twenty-four. Ooh, you uh. That's like two nineteens in a row. Yeah, she's uh at the you know front of the house. She's doing ownery things. Ownery things. Ownery things. Yeah, whatever. Ooh. Is that kind of like ornery things? Yeah. No, she's she's talking uh, with some... Actually, she's over with a group of patrons, and she's talking to them. Ooh. I think that sounds okay. more like her. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Petty, be nice. Okay, okay, I guess... Okay. I get up, and I walk over to her. Okay. She's uh, talking to some people. What's her name again? Uh, Kreya? Kreya. He cannot resist starting trouble, can he? Okay, Kreya. Oh, what? Uh, what's going on? I heard, uh, heard you've been, uh, making up some stories, huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about. You like to, uh, like to make up some stories, huh? You, you, um, like, you like to make up stories? I'm not sure what you're talking about, but... Um, I, mean, I heard you've been making up stories about us. That's just what I heard from some other people in the bar. Well... That you've been making up stories. They've probably been making up stories about me, and they do that pretty often. That's what they do. Uh, they make up stories about me. I've really got to work on my accents. So, uh, what's the best story you ever made up? Because, uh, you know, I've been trying to think of some, and uh, I could really use some uh, advice over here. And, you know, I'm a bard. I, you know, I'm trying to make up some songs and stuff, you know? Can you give me any pointers, advice on any of this story making up? Well, if you're looking for pointers on how to make up stories... Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I heard you make up stories all the time. So, like, you know, give me some point, you know? Give I mean, if advice. you're looking for advice, I mean, I, I, I'm sure it's Yeah, like, so, you know, like, um, what's the best story you ever made up? You know, because I got all kinds of stories, you know? Ah, ah. Oh, my stories, I mean. Ah. I mean, there's stories all around. I think the best, uh, the best you know, stories. because I got this story going right now that, uh, in my, uh, Friends over there uh, saved a, saved an entire town of people from attacking water demons. Yep, we're pretty uh, heroic people. Oh, okay. So, that's a well, right yeah, good so, like, story. That's, that's, that's no, a story. I don't think that I can I beat that What's, story. That's pretty it, pretty impressive. No. Yeah, no, that's pretty a pretty impressive story. Is that the? You haven't made up a. You don't have any good good stories like that. Mm, not like that. No, I mean I don't make up stories like that. No. Mm. That's disappointing because I was really hoping that you know we could exchange stories and stuff. You know, it'd be a good time. <laughs> I mean, if you would like a story, something to maybe figure out as a story, there is an old abandoned house in town. That probably old abandoned is... house, you say. It's probably worth a story. Yeah, it might be making up a story about it, huh? Right? No one knows what's going on with that house, but it's definitely worth a story. Hmm. 
You really don't have any other good stories, huh? Well, what about kind of story else? you want? Anyone, any story, you know, any story about anyone in town, you know, that you, you thought you, you could, you know, good chuckle about, you know. Um. Fun time, you know. Well, this Fun one time, time story. at a uh, band camp. Um. Oh, I see. Low effort story. Well, there is maybe one story. Um, there is this um, dragonborn in town. Uh, claims he's a paladin. Not really sure about how that goes, but... Uh, tries to... Uh, Tries to go around fighting the undead. That's what he claims. Fights hmm. demons and... Um, Fights demons, huh? Yeah. Undead creatures. Hmm. Claims to have found some mystery weapon. I don't know. Mystery weapon, huh? Um, uh, claims to be pretty good. I don't know. It's, it's all, it's all, you know... It's all conjecture. He says he he's uh on a holy vision quest to uh save cool, the world. The holy vision quest. Yeah, you know, you know paladins. Geez. Yeah. Yeah, you know. But in uh, my travels, in my travels, you know, I I once met a uh, a kobold who thought he was a dragon. <laughs> it's <was> the craziest <laughs> thing. That's you know? pretty crazy. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, he's a uh, Definitely a pretty strange creature. He uh, he does tend to hang out near the water. He's a lot more water, uh, uh, water-based dragonborn. But um, I don't know. He claims to have fought all of these strange creatures. Um, says he's really good in a fight. I don't know. I think it's a lot of pop. Excuse me, poppycock. Myself. Hmm. Well, I mean, if that's all the stories you got, then I'm just trying to. Uh, I mean, are you looking for stories about people, strange people in I town? Just, well, well, you know, just whatever stories you had, whatever good stories you had, you know, I wanted to hear. The good gossip, good town gossip. Is that what you're looking good, for? Sure. I mean, it, 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 it's, if it's got a good story, then why not? You know. Well, I mean, there is a little town gossip. Uh, if you talk to some of the shopkeepers, uh some something's going on uh with the shops um something to do with uh things have gone missing oh is that why the price of everything in this town is so weird uh yeah i mean it definitely has impacted some prices um it's hard to get things mm. right now because you know, um, like food being silver pieces multiple I mean, part okay, of that. Okay, listen, is... listen here, Janfire. You're not over here. You didn't come over here. You're still back at the table, okay? <laughs> you didn't want to come. Birdie whispering in your ear. You didn't want to come talk to her about the the stories that she makes up. So. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, something's been disrupting the uh, trade routes. Uh, I mean, the the merchants. So. That's that's kind of been a story. Um, you know, this one time, uh, I did actually uh, hear... Uh, this is a traveler came from across the sea. If you would like a good story. Are you ready for this one? Oh boy, am I ready. So, there was a traveler from across the sea in, uh, you, you know, the country Oniano, uh, which is uh, just west Absolutely. of here. Absolutely. Um, says that um, there's a big bard school over there uh, is in a city and uh, I guess uh, I don't know really what happened I just know there was a school there and he lived in the city and some some strange thing happened where 
let me just see if I can wrap my brain on this one because it was pretty, it's pretty, um, it was a pretty big deal. Pretty big deal at a, at a bard, bard well, school. Well, no, 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 not at the bard school. The bard school was part of the town, but, um, no. So the the town had a bard school, um, mm. but the, and it was a pretty big town. But something happens, uh, and where did that go? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, it's not this one. No, but uh, where'd it go? Holy, why? I always lose the things I need. You need to keep better, better, have more better organization. Apparently. Says the guy who barely writes notes. I have some, I have an ID, uh, 10T background story. <laughs> Where did, oh, is it in a folder, maybe? I know I read it. Where did it go? What, oh, are you looking so for good. my? Shh, you shut your pie hole. Well, I found I it and it was pretty good. Was Anyways, so there was a big, uh, Attack! I think it was monster or some kind of like demons or something. Uh, attacked the. Oh yeah, you know the city. I think I did hear. Burned half something. the city down. It's not even this huge city. I heard it was a cult. I heard it was a cult that, that, uh, that um, like summoned summoned something there. You know, like a big cult, like a, a big underground cult. The the poor uh, that that city has not recovered since then. Oh. That's what this guy was telling me. That they're still looking for uh, whatever, you know, whoever was involved oh, yeah. because that oh. town has not, rec that city has not recovered yet. Oh. That's a story for you. <laughs> I heard shame. that one, right? Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, I heard that. That's traveled the, this, this, that far already, huh? Oh, yeah, we get all sorts of stories. Oh, gee. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, you know, thanks for story time. Anytime. I head back over to the table. Okay. Well, uh, squared that all away. Got that all squared up. Squared out. What'd you find out? I, what I just went. I just t talked to her about the uh, the story she's making up. You know. Mm -hmm. It's an awful long time to talk about one single story. Well, I mean, I I told her that you know I was all like making up stories about us, or, or, and then I, you know it kind of got into like um, other stories around town. You know, I heard that there was this uh, creepy abandoned house. You know. Insight check. Uh, roll an insight check. I don't... Twenty-five. You did hear a story. He did hear a story about a creepy abandoned house. Okay. He's not lying. Teddy? Something, you know, something about um, something uh, disrupting trade routes, you know, just regular town gossip and stuff. Some paladins making a big ruckus. Some some dragon, dragonborn, dragon guy, paladin man. Says he's fighting demons. Who isn't fighting a demon, right? 
Cool, yeah. Hmm. We've all got our own demons, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> some more than others. Yeah. Some people just make deals with underwater genies. Wow. Fair. Wow. Uh, you know what I should have figured out is, you know, if if we could get a refund on our rooms and then we could just stay the night into the creepy abandoned house. Or we could not go on any side quests like a particular bard was saying when we first stepped foot here. I, I do remember that park. We're here for a night. And then figure out how to get back to where we were originally going. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, uh, the paladin said he had some magical weapon, some some ancient lost to the lost to the realm's weapon. The paladin said that you talked to the paladin. No, the paladin didn't say that, but the 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 owner of the inn said that the paladin said that. Oh. Or something like that. I mean, she sounds really reputable, so it's pretty yeah. awkward. She seems like a pretty trustworthy person. You know? I mean... So may maybe we should talk to this paladin about, about this weapon he has. I mean, it's definitely worth We could talk to the paladin person. Yeah, we could at least talk to the paladin person. At the oh. very least... Fine. Uh, so you hang out a little while longer. Uh, at eight o'clock, she uh starts wrapping up the. Uh, the tavern zone. Sounds early. I'll say ten. They wrap up. They're like, okay, time to shut down. We head well. I suppose this part of the we is going to head. To bed okay uh yeah no everyone well i'm assuming pretty much everyone goes up at least to the rooms because they shut the tavern uh, down we didn't even check out any shops today um so you get to the rooms wait and the... i can't get more alcohol uh no sir the um, bar shut down it's dry at 10 it's dry um you get to the rooms and it's awkward because it's a single double bed in each room Teddy. What kind of spells do I have for this situation? Teddy. Vera <laughs> goes back out. Teddy. What? I didn't I didn't pay for the rooms. <laughs> and what happened to straightening out the story? Well, I talked to her about the story. And did you straighten her out in telling her that she was incorrect in her thinking? <laughs> Is that what I was supposed to do? I had assumed that's what you were going to do. Oh, well, no, that's not what I did. I went and talked to her about stories. I go back downstairs. Ah, uh, the, um, the, it's all shut down. There's no one down there. Must be like a door somewhere. It's like yeah, no, there's who... a door, like the the door that leads to the tavern, the the tavern spot. Do you think, uh, Kaifir, Do you think turning into a T Rex would solve the situation? <laughs> no, the eating no. section is closed. <laughs> there is a door that leads outside. If you want to go outside, T Rex is not the solution to this issue. You know what we could do is go to the abandoned house. Or we could not get sidetracked with an abandoned house. I'm, okay, I'm just gonna awkwardly throw out that we've slept under the dome together and that double beds really are not okay, that Okay, well, that's kind of like a tent, you know, and we all had our own bed rolls. <laughs> no, I'm right. just gonna like throw that feet. out. At no, least in my wrong. However, view. 
if the innkeeper's already gossip. I mean, well, it's a ten foot. But if we only stayed here for one night. There's like twenty. It's like twenty feet of room. There's like a lot of room under that dome, you know. No, but Florin is right. It is one night. We'll be gone tomorrow. We'll deal with it later. Will it really be one night? Is it ever really ever one night? It will be one night. (laughs) I'm knocking on the door to the tavern. Oh, it's like the tavern. Like it's it's. There's no one answering. I try to pick the lock. Okay, pick the lock. Go ahead, roll a lock picky thing. Well, uh, I mean, Janfire's not in the room anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I imagine if he doesn't succeed in whatever he's doing, he will um, return. Teddy uh, is going to sleep. What's the. Uh, what do I use? My dex modifier? So uh, 14. Teddy? How does huh. the lockpick work? Uh, I use thieves' tools. Do you have thieves' tools, Jamfire? No. Oh, so. Sorry. You're just trying to pick the lock without yeah. any proficiency uh-huh. um you are not quite able to pick the lock i mean to maybe open the you door. could just do, uh, do a straight dex i think usually when my thieves i don't know because i also have like expertise with thieves tools or something <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Apparently, it's not possible. <laughs> what? There's a, there's a stack exchange on this. No thief tools and no improvised tools. Take a strength check to throw the closest party member through the door yeah. or go to the block. <laughs> Basically, look for another way to get past it because you can't pick it. Um. I, I'm just gonna go upstairs and like knock on doors and be like, "Hey, I think they gave us the wrong room." So I'm looking for an empty room. Okay. Um. Oh wait, hold on. Isn't this like exactly what Teddy did on the boat? Just knocking on random doors. Yep. yep. Who is making shenanigans now? Mm. It's like I passed my toy. Here, Janfire. It's Janfire's turn. I can't wait for it to be Kaifir's turn to make shenanigans. Okay. Um, Kaifir doesn't do shenanigans. Because I assume the, the innkeeper must be somewhere in this building. Okay. There are so a lot of things I What I would like you to do way. is roll a 12 sided die. Okay. 12. Okay. You knock on a door. And uh, you hear this, oh, what What do you want? What, what's going on? Never mind. Go, go back to sleep. Not okay. On one. Uh, awkward. Okay, roll a 12-sided die again. Four. Okay. Um. Uh, hello? Can I help you? What's Are going you an innkeeper? On? No, I'm just money. Okay, go back to bed. Okay. Next one. Okay, roll again. Nine. Uh, you hear a lot of moaning and groaning. Are you the innkeeper? Go back to bed. <laughs> Next one. Okay. Uh, six. Um... Uh, you see, you hear somebody, like, jump up and, like, uh, kind of, uh, grab some stuff and, like, 
walk to the door, but, uh, and they, they kind of like crack it open and there's like a sword like poking out at you. What do you want? Are you the innkeeper? Do I look like a fucking innkeeper to you? Um, I, well, I can't see you. All I can see is your sword. Do you think I'm the fucking innkeeper? I don't know. That's, that's why I asked the question. Are you the innkeeper? Uh, how about no? Okay, go back to bed. Mm. Next door. Okay. One. Um... Mama? Mama, there's someone out of the door. Mama. Are you the innkeeper? <laughs> Why did you wake up my kid? What did you do? Who are you? Go are you away. The innkeeper? No, I'm not the innkeeper. Okay, go back you to just bed. Woke up. You just woke up my kid. Mommy. <laughs> well, get him back to sleep. <laughs> He's going to wake right. up everybody in the end. <laughs> Next door. <laughs> okay. Another one. Nope, skip it. <laughs> Roll again. Uh, six. You already did six. Well, why don't I just give you a number? Ten. Oh, ten. Um. I mean, do you actually have something written down for all these numbers? No, not for all of them. Just for some of them. Oh. Um. Uh. Nobody answers the door. I. Uh, uh, like, try to, like, push into it. Uh, try to open it. The, the door... Okay, the door's not locked. Oh, okay. I just walk in, then. Um, You walk in, and... There is a naked man... Uh, uh, I close the door. Go back to bed. bed. <laughs> <laughs> I just try to make these as awkward as possible. Good. Four. Did you do four? No. Are you sure? Um, yeah. Uh, the door's locked. It, no one answers. On the door's locked. Knock on it harder. No one answers. I, I try to, like, you know, give it a good shoulder. See if I can... No. Get it to open. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can uh, roll strength if you want, if you're going to try to really shoulder it. Man's going to break down a door. Yep. Someone is getting us arrested. <laughs> and it's not Teddy for once. <laughs> well, don't worry, because I won't. I'm, I haven't done very well on this roll. Um, a nine. Okay. I yeah, know. You can't. You... Okay. I, so I. I Keep a note on where this door is. I'm like, Teddy, Teddy, come pick this lock. Oh, what What do you want? There's, there's an empty trying room. To sleep. There's an empty room. We... Okay, but my room is empty right now. Well, I jump on the bed. Go get in the other room. Kafir <laughs> 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 just kind of went back to... Go back to bed, just like whatever. One night, don't care. <laughs> An actual bed versus the little boat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways, I go to sleep. I well, actually first I show them kind of like half heartedly show them where I found the 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 room where mm -hmm. nobody answered and the door was locked, and then I go jump in the bed and go to sleep. What do I want to do now? <laughs> um, when we walked into the into the inn, mm -hmm. did we see the the big field? Um, yeah, you probably saw the big field. Uh, is it like what kind of what what's are they growing? What's what what are they growing? Just like mm, they're growing. I don't know what they're growing. 
they're growing yams and yucca, sweet potato oh, and no, yucca. No, I, 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 uh, no, they're, they're it's probably a bunch of different like corn and there's a bunch of different things that there's wheat, grain and stuff. There's a lot of different uh, plants out there. Some of it is also animals. You know, I kind of want to see that guy that answered the door with a sword, but if I have to go through everybody else, too, I don't think it's worth it. Hmm. You know what? Big brain time. Um. Did the innkeeper tell me where the abandoned house was? No. Darn. That's big, big brain time. Yeah, that's big brain time. I get the, I, I get the whole house to myself. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go down to the tavern part. Okay, so you go down the stairs, but the yeah. door to the tavern part is locked. Oh. Huh. Nice try, guys. Without my trusty, best, uh, trusty, uh, my, my good old thieves tools. Pick that lock. I'm gonna pick it so good. 21. You pick the lock. And I go into the, just walk into the tavern part. Okay. It's just a bunch of, uh, tables and chairs that have been put up for the night. No one's in there. I push a bunch of them out of the way. Mm-hmm. Make room. Mm -hmm. And I cast Tiny Hut. Okay. You have a tiny hut in the middle of the tavern. And then I go to sleep. All right. Um, great. So you go to bed for the night. Um, uh, Kaifira, you wake up in the morning. Uh, the tavern doesn't quite open until, like, uh, uh, there was a time. There was a time. I didn't realize it told me. It, uh, it starts, it opens at 6 a.m. Uh, so probably Tiny Hut's not quite gone by the time that, uh, the tavern's open. So I would say probably the, the... And the opening crew is trying to figure out why the heck there's this weird uh, anomaly in the middle of the room. Yeah, the they're like, the what the heck? And uh, if Yura just walks down, really, again, and casts the spell magic. Why would you cast? That's a spell that you could possibly use, and it's going to be done in a couple more hours. Uh, You're bothering people again. To bother you, really. Uh, uh, the tiny hut disappears. And there's Teddy. There's Teddy in his boxers. Snoozing in the middle of the room. Yeah. I mean, I'd at least have a sleeping bag. I got a sleeping bag in my stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you got some. I'm sure you yeah. got something. Yeah. Come on. I got a bedroll. Mm -mm. Are you just gonna stay there? I'm snoozing. Okay. <laughs> He just continues to sleep. That's funny. I just want to uncheck the box. I, once I dispel the tiny hut, I just kind of go and help the crew put tables and things back to where they should be. Oh, maybe she always sleeps there? It's just weird. 
What the heck? Okay, yeah, and uh, Florin comes down also in the morning, probably helps you out as well. She's a helper. She's probably also sighing just as much as Kaipira is she at what is. Teddy does. On She's a, just like, you okay. Know, regular basis. Okay, um, uh, Janfire, what are you doing? I'll wake up, you know, from like seven ish and, and head down. Okay. Uh -huh. Find some breakfast. Great. Oh, uh, you know. I probably still see Teddy there in the middle sleeping. Probably. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it probably depends on what time the place gets busy, right? I'm like, if he's still there, I'm like, uh, uh that typical Teddy. Mm -hmm. Always causing trouble. Right? <laughs> Me always. Okay, okay. I see how it is. Like 90% of the time, at least. That's pretty accurate. Okay, so, uh, breakfast, uh, someone comes over to you. Sorry, I get so distracted. Uh. Nah. Hello, um, how can I help you this morning? Would you like some breakfast? Yes, please. Um, so for breakfast, we have some fried perch. We have some saltfish or some cheeses. We have coffee or tea or water or ale available for drinking. I'll take a latte. Um. Oh, um, okay. Well, like instead of dripping the milk or dripping the water through the coffee, you've got to, you know, you got to create pressure and, and push it through so that you get the oil of the bean out. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll I'll see what we can do for that. Uh, okay. Good. Good. She scribbles something down on there. Uh, uh, Florin just gets some cheeses. Kefir will get some cheeses as well. And if I could have water for a drink, that would be great. Okay. Uh, Florin gets tea. Um, and the the cheese is uh two silver pieces. What else? What did you get there, Janfire? I'll get some cheeses too with that. Okay. Uh, did you wake up, Teddy? Are you eating breakfast yet? Can, can, oh. you, get some, can you get some oh. bread too with the cheeses? Oh, yeah. Um, we can add in some bread. How many people are in the tavern? Um, the morning crowd. Um, it's pretty, pretty quiet. Uh, there's not a lot of people there right now. Nope. It's pretty empty. Pretty empty. Well, uh, uh, like around seven. So I guess at seven, uh, a couple people come in. There's like two people in the tavern. Other than, other, other than, than the wait staff. Mm, I and don't know. The party I, members. I don't know if two people is enough to wake me up. Oh, oh, okay. Well. 
Then it might be uh, like eight o'clock. Uh, more people come in around eight. Yeah, that would probably be right. Yeah. I think it's. Um, you guys get to your, your breakfast. Um, what are your, what are your plans? We should probably figure out a, sh we should probably find a map. Is that probably a trip to the general store? Um. In case we get lost again, we won't have to rely on finding, well, anyone. At a general store, we could try maybe one of the sailors down on the docks. That too. If we had paper, maybe we just go to the general store for paper and unless we have some parchment. Steady of paper? Is it eight yet? Yeah. Oh, it is? Oh, then I'm awake. Yeah. Okay. I wake up. Yeah. Uh, Teddy, do I you mean, have paper? I think I have some paper. Hold on, I have this whole kit of stuff that I have. I just pull out an entire kit that's just, it's just like a big folder that just says forgery kit on the top. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, actually, uh, Florin's just like, wait, um, she just uh, kind of like goes around to random people in the bar and she's like, um... Are you are actually no? She grabs the waitress. Do do you know? Uh, are any of these people sailors, perhaps by chance? Um, and the the waitress is like, um, not really. And then Florin gives her like a couple silver pieces. She's like, well, so that one guy over there is. So, uh, Florin's like, uh, maybe we just go ask that one guy over there a thing we could do. I... Let me just double check one thing here. I am not the most charismatic. So, Teddy? Yes? What do you need? Um, that is my name. What do you require? Do you want to go talk to that guy over there? Um... It's uh, the 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 guy with the tattoo um on his face and the scar. I I guess he's a sailor or not. Yeah. He might you want have me a... go beat him up for you. No, I, can do that. I we just want to know if he could make us a map of uh the general area. He's a sailor, is what the waitress said. He's a sailor, huh? Yeah. He's probably pretty tough then. I think I'm gonna have to use uh, T Rex for him on him. Um. So we could maybe save the T-Rex form. I don't know. Sailors are pretty tough. I mean, they are pretty tough, but, uh... He's got a tattoo on his face? I'm he does sure have a tattoo on his face. It's like painting flames on your boat. Make it go faster. Uh... I don't know if that's why he has tattoos on his face, though. Yeah, but it's like the same. You know, you get tattoos on your face, and you're you, you're tougher. Did you did you know about the the dragon marked people? Some people have those because of the dragons that marked them. So they're even tougher, huh? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can beat this guy, you know, I can beat up a lot of people, but this guy seems pretty tough. Well, I don't think you need to beat him up. If we wanted him to be beaten up, we, we could have sent Janfire. Are you saying I can't beat him up now? No, I'm saying that your skills at persuasion are much better than mine. Oh, so I should I hurt him with people. words. You don't try to persuade him. You're going to go try to persuade him? With my fist? Oh, uh, no, with your words. Problems. I was thinking with words. 
So you want me to go insult him? <laughs> no, we want to ask him for help. So we're going to be nice to him. And not hit him. Or insult him. Let's, let's go do this. You, Teddy. Hold on, wait, hold on. I'm trying to figure... You want me... To go beat him up, but be nice about it? No, we do not want you to beat him up. We want you to go talk to him nicely. So that he's more inclined to help us. Wait, you want to, You want him to... I thought we were going to go beat him up. No. We want his help. You don't typically uh, beat up the people that you're asking help from. They want me to go beat them up. Yeah, do you want Jamfire to go beat him no, up? No. We do not want to beat him up at all. We would just like to talk to him without beating him up. Because we are trying to ask for help. Wait, I bet I can challenge him to... A duel of fists. Yeah, a duel. Then and he then, can't back out of it. Yeah. And nobody will be angry at us. And and I and after I hit him hard enough, then you can talk him into helping us. Or very easily. Oh, you issue a challenge. Because you'll be sent. Yeah. And if he <laughs> loses, then he's forced to help us. Yes. Typhira smacks them both accidentally on purpose <laughs> okay. outside the head. Yes. No. We are trying to ask for his help nicely, without fighting of any kind. I don't understand. I, 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 I speak up that. so that the rest of the tavern can hear us. So what you're saying, Kaipira, <laughs> is that you want to beat up that guy over there with the face tattoo. <laughs> and the guy is like, what, what's going on over there? What's, who's, uh, what's going on? Someone wants you to wanna have up? a duo? <laughs> Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, see, our friend here no. is telling <laughs> no. us no. that she wants us to no. beat you up. No. So My that you will here help are us. Morons. sound kind of like morons. <laughs> what I was trying to convey to them is that we we're travelers and we got lost, which is how we ended up here in this town. And, and now she wants me to challenge you to a if, fight. Now, <laughs> wondering if you were a sailor and might be able to give us a help us create a map of the nearby you know, any nearby islands or, or things like that, so we might get back to where we were going. Oh. Can oh. I figure if you just, if you want, if you, if that's what you want, why didn't you just ask me to ask him for a map? That's what we did ask. I don't remember her asking that. Uh, yeah, I don't remember that either. Yeah, uh, I mean, since you're so kind about it, um, you can probably come up with some kind of a little, uh, map for y'all let me just oh that's that right there so this one is uh so i um i don't i don't have anything handy to write with though so Teddy, do you have paper oh uh, yeah here you go here use my forgery kit <laughs> i don't use it for anything illegal i'm sure you don't i take some of the paper and, and some the writing utensil and I mean, I'm sure a forgery kit has. Bring it over to the guy. Okay. Um, I mean, so do you want to know, like, what continent you're on? You want to know, like... We know what continent we're on. We're looking to get back towards Moonkarn and, and those islands there. Okay. Um, so, let me just... So Moon Karn's kinda down in Honiano. That's uh let me just That's about around here. Oh Moon 
Moon cards down around Honiano, huh? Yeah. Uh. Oh, where else did you want to know? Uh. Well. If we get back to Moon Card, we can figure ourselves out from there, I think, but. We've been kind of island hopping between. Well, we've already been to the Collapsing Isle, but. We were okay. heading to Moon Card. We're also looking for the Vagabond's Retreat and Sinatra's Haven. Okay, well, I mean, I can at least put uh, the collapsing aisle out there for you. Uh, ooh, Vagabond's Retreat. I know where that one is. That's about, uh... Vagabond's also, retreat. while you're making this map for us, do you happen to have any, like, suggestions on, like, maybe how to navigate the sea, you know, just in case we get separated from our boat? Not that that ever ha sort of thing ever happens, but, you know, if it were to, oh. and we were to be out there alone. Right. Um... So the way the currents run, um, in this sea, um, the water comes from, um, from the northern end, from Umdare, but I don't know if you're familiar with that consonant, but... Uh, from the Lake um, of the Trace right, Warriors huh? and stuff, um, comes from the north and floats into the sea. Um, and then it exits, uh, well, our, our, there's an exit to the, uh, I can put that on the, the map. I'll, I'll try to indicate where the, the rivers are flowing from because, um, you can at least kind of use that to tell from the currents. Like where the where the water's coming from. So there's a, a fresh water and then there's a salt water um, input. Um, oh, there's a couple of fresh water ones. And then there are two main outputs. Um, that go to the east, the southeast, and the southwest. Um, the southeast kind of separates Xylacol and Honiano. And then the um, southwest separates Honiano and Nenilula. Uh, is there any other things you want to see that you want to know about? Yeah, I heard there was a creepy house in the town. In um, this town? Yeah, there is, a, there is a house in the town, yeah. Creepy abandoned house, I heard, from the owner of this tavern slash inn. I was just wondering where it was, whereabouts. Um... Well, uh, it's in this block, uh, it's kind of, um, next to two little tiny houses in this, uh, general block here. Uh, a little bit, uh, it's, it's like if you look south, there's a, um, There's a little black house. And then there are two little, um... Oh. Should do a north, south, east, and one. A north, south, east, east, and west, though. 
Well, you'll have to be able to tell based on how I or wrote the words that that's how what north, south, east, and west is. Um, so it's a it's um. Like, if we were to leave the inn, right, which which way would we, you, you would, how would um, we get there? You would uh, just, well, you could, uh, if you use the inner roads, you could uh, just leave the inn and follow this little inner road and kind of just uh, go to that little house there. Not the two little houses, but the longer house. Do you see the, uh, see how that worked? That's the abandoned house. I don't know why you'd want to go there. Uh, weird things happen there, especially at night. We're looking for real estate. Well, I mean, people say that house is haunted. We're looking Perfect. for the best. Where professional, um, what's what's the word uh, that when you scare off ghosts? Um, ghost hunters. Exorcists. Oh yeah. Okay. Parapsychologists? Exorcists. Oh, okay. Exercise. Exercisers. Yes. Professional exercisers. exercisers. Whew. Yep. That's what we are. Okay. That's us. Well, uh, good luck with that. Uh, any other uh, things you want to know? No, thank you. You've been. Amazing. If we wanted to buy the house, who does it belong to? Uh, I don't. I don't know who it belongs to. Excellent. Uncontested territory. Thank you, sir. Um, I mean, if you wanted to thank me, there are ways to do that. I hand him a gold piece. <laughs> oh, thank you. We definitely won't beat you up later now. Oh, that's good to know. Ignore him. He is a moron. We'll do it now. What happened to not starting trouble, Janfire? Mm. I like how Did I point out my intelligence is a seven. Even I like how poor Kaifira just is not. It's not that I mean to. You just can't help yourself. Pretty much. Even though I'm awful good. Okay. So the plan for today. Get the get the map. Okay, we got that. Yep. Go to the abandoned house. Okay. No. On the list. Talk to the paladin. The dragonborn paladin. Okay, on the list. Uh get, get a boat, I suppose, and get out of here. Easy peasy. I agree to the boat. And talking to the paladin, I do not agree to the abandoned house. Oh, so you want to go to the paladin before we go to the house? We aren't going to the house. That is a, si a side. You know, thing. I hear the house is haunted, right? And I hear the paladin uh, fights demons. So, the likelihood that the paladin is actually at the house is pretty high, if you think about it, right? Because you know, demonic presence at the house. Paladin's probably there fighting demons. No. We should probably go to the house. No, we should not. We should find a boat and get out of here. All in favor of going to the house, say aye. Do we need any supplies? There was an eye in supplies. I <laughs> That is not count. <laughs> we probably... Janfire, what's your vote? Well, I'm just gonna stay out of this one. Uh, he said I and there's an I and I'm it's three against one. I don't He just said I may again. not be That's the double brightest yes. but you seem to be making up votes. Um, no, I'm not. You just said I. I heard you with my own two ears. It's 
three against one, Kaifir. What's your vote? That we should get supplies, get a boat, and get off this island. And no, I will. I do not care that there's an I in island. My answer is still no. Hmm. Okay, well, it sounds like it's three against one, Kaifir. So. I believe Lauren said she wanted to go get supplies. I mean, I was just asking if that was a thing we needed. Probably. <laughs> I'm sure we could use some supplies. Okay, well, I guess this is the last time I use democracy to uh, solve our, our, our <laughs> questions. So. Don't you just want to, you can just make fun of people and then that would be the way you solve problems. You mean like how he deals with things most of the time? Yeah, okay, that's accurate. Okay. Does anybody know where any shops are? Um, there are plenty of shops. I mean, I don't. Are you asking the general public or? No, I'm asking the people in the party. Oh no, I'm. You have to ask. Yeah. Someone to point us in a direction. Okay, so like we already know where the scary, the spooky house is. So we could just, you know, go check that out first. Mm -mm. But I mean, it's on the list. The it's things to list, check out. But not ours. Oh, it's on the band list, so. It's on the itinerary. And, band uh... itinerary agenda, band agenda. How many of us are actually a part of your little band? <laughs> Florin, are you a part of the band? Uh, I don't have any musical skills. And Janfire? I thought you were the singer. I, I don't you? even own an instrument. Oh. You have the tambourine. Teddy, as you're standing there you have a tambourine. talking, you get this little, like, like, little sense in your head. It just goes like this. T Teddy? Teddy? Are you still my friend? Are you still my mentor? Because something bad's happening and I I don't know what to do. And Oh no. I Oh no. I I think something bad's happened. And that's like all you get. What what I know issue, I can respond the Can you right? can you respond to that one? I'm pretty I think right? Can't I? Can. There are two of them. Yeah, there's two of them. I'm pretty sure I can respond. Let me see which one. Oh, oh no, what, Teddy? Oh no, this is this is a big oh no moment. Is it? There's message. But message only works within like a hundred feet there's or something. There's sending. It it would have to be sending. I believe. I'm pretty sure message is only like a short distance. Oh, if you can answer, you can answer. I I don't even know what to say. Oh, um, um, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, uh, yes, of course. Um, uh, but I don't know where you are. Please, please. Uh, tell tell me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, also, whew, we got new band members. It's great. We're doing great. Everything's good. I feel like you're over the 25 word limit. Yeah. Uh, let me just. Kaifir, I just got a message from uh, Fireball, Little <laughs> Miss Fireball. Zimia? And it doesn't sound good. You got a message from Zimia. I'm pretty sure. That's the one that fireballed everything. Yeah. That's, uh, yes. And when you say not 
good. It didn't sound good. Define didn't sound good. Um. Ah. She sounded like she was in a panic. Ah, I, I was, um, in an island in the, the Lake of the Trace Warriors. That's where they sent me. But, um, that, uh, Isaac's back, and there aren't a lot of people around, and I, I don't think. I'm the only one here. I don't... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Isaac speechless. What? Uh, she does that to people. <laughs> Us, generally. No, I just don't know how to respond. Like, what do I respond with? It doesn't... I don't... I, uh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll, we'll just... We'll do it. We'll get, we'll get, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, but hurry, because I don't, I don't know if I can okay, resist she him. Had a, she, how many spells, how many times? I don't know. I, do I don't know how many times she can send it. This, I didn't up her character. I just kind of improvised. So there you go. Okay. What'd she say again? She said, okay, but hurry. I don't know how much longer I can hold him off or something. This is the last time I can send this. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Okay, we'll find we'll find some way of finding you. That's all I got. Well, Okay, we need to go talk to the paladin, and then we need to go see if uh, if we can find somebody that has that knows divination magic. Okay, you wanna clue me in a little more? Okay, Kyfira. Yeah. You go talk to the paladin. Take Florin with you. And me and Janfire will see if we can find anybody with divination magic. Okay. Okay, that's the plan. Come on, Janfire, we're going. Okay. I fear he's just sitting there like, he's, huh? <laughs> what are you looking for, Teddy? Mages. About what's? Are you looking for a particular spell or? Uh. Mm. Yeah, what's this spell called? Lauren, oh. any thoughts on where we're going to find a mate or a, find this paladin? No, I mean, mm. I don't think we talked to that. We didn't talk to them. No, Ted it's did. it's uh, divination. It's a fourth fourth level spell. Oh, okay. Oh, is it divination? I go find Kraya. It's not divination. <laughs> What is it? Are you looking to try oh, to talk to her? It would be or? scrying. That would be a fifth oh. level spell. Oh, that's a big level spell. Is it? Is that mm -hmm. the only one? That's probably it. That's like... Because we have to find her, right? Yeah. Like, that would be, like, the only way of being able to find her. Straight up. Mm-hmm. 
Well, no. Actually. Uh... Yeah. I don't even know if that will... Okay, you could... It has to remain within 10 feet. You can't even, like... You won't even... Uh... Which one? Scrying. I need something that, like... That's only a thousand feet. No! You can scry. The 10 feet... Allows it's it's a sensor that allows you to see within ten feet. Yeah, but that won't give us like a that won't tell us where she is. Oh, I mean, it you might give I mean? you a little insight. Yeah. Unless you know, the only thing is like if there's something close. Right. This is the only thing that I can think of. What? Yeah, I mean this this is probably your best bet, right? Probably. Kafira uh, goes to look for Kraya. Okay, uh, hey, how's it going? Ah, uh, good morning. How was your sleep last night? Good morning. We slept fine. Um, you told my friend about a paladin in town. Oh, yes, yep, there is a pa paladin Baxlin. Uh, he's a dragonborn. Dragon he's a little bit eccentric. But, uh, yeah. Do you know where we might find this eccentric little dragon? This is second. Uh, ex ah, jeez. Dragonborn, paladin. Where can we find him? Well, uh,. He tends to hang out near the docks. Um, usually the the northernmost dock is uh, usually where you can find them. There aren't a lot of dragonborns in town, so. All right, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Come back anytime. Thank you. Well, Florence, shall we go find this sure. dragonborn? Sure. Yes. Now I can say it. It's fine. Okay. So I guess we head to the northernmost dock. All right. All right. All right. You go up to the docks. Uh, you head up to the docks. Uh, uh, roll perception. <laughs> Nine. She. She has like a ten. It takes you a little while. You get a little uh, disoriented and stuff, but. You do eventually kind of spot the one lone dragonborn kind of uh, just uh, hanging out and talking with people. Uh, you see him. So we're going to have to walk up to him. So All we right. Can chat with him. All right. You going to initiate a thing? or? Yeah, I was, I was just going to have to say hello. Okay. Hello. Hi, hello. Uh, my name's Baxlin Crothlick. How can I be of service to ladies? Well, <laughs> sorry, I didn't catch the whole story from my friend, but he had heard, um, we heard of you through Kraya at the inn, um, that you fought, fight demons and, and things of that sort. Oh, yes, I do, uh, I do specialize, um, in uh, fighting, uh, well, I can sense celestials and uh, undead fiends and such creatures as part of my paladin features. You know, uh, paladins are attuned to such creatures. How are you with vampires? Uh, I believe that vampires are also uh, of the undead, so I can also sense uh, vampires. They've not really had the opportunity to fight 
vampires, but I have fought many other creatures of the undead nature. Well, we're currently trying to stop a vampire from taking over the world. Um, but do you have any tips on dealing with any of the undead demons, things of that sort? Any tools of the trade that might be useful for us? I don't know what Teddy was thinking when finding this guy. Are you looking at fighting a vampire? We are. Well, uh... It's... It's... I told you he had a mystical, mis uh, the special sword. I do. You didn't uh, say what it was. You just said him. I mean, I I have a sword. I can wield a weapon special to me, uh, to paladins. Uh, holy Avenger. Uh, he pulls out his sword. This Holy Avenger. It is only. It is something that paladins are able to wield. Uh, it gives me a bonus to fighting against the undead. I found it in one of the mines when I was um, doing traveling across the ocean, across the sea. And where exactly did you find it? Well, I I don't think I should tell all of my secrets, but um, uh, it was uh, it was in a mountain. Uh, where they used to, the where dwarves used to live. I think. Would I recognize this as being the sunblade that Henry carried? Yet yeah, no, because, um, the sunblade. If you recall, I can actually roll intelligence check. Okay, good. So, if you remember correctly, uh, Henry is the one that wielded the Sunblade, and he was not a paladin. So, it would not make sense that this is a blade that Henry would have what, been okay, using. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's fair enough. Was, we've been searching for vampire killing artifacts that have we hope exists to aid us in our uh, quest. What's your quest? Kill a vampire. To stop him from him and You're his undead army. You're on a quest army. to kill a vampire? Yes, to stop him and his undead army. This sounds like my type of quest. <laughs> well, when we first encountered this vampire, he was holding a girl hostage. When we next encountered the vampire, he basically killed an entire town and has been taking over ever since. Ask him if he wants to join the band. Kaifir just feels in the back of her head that Teddy would be saying something about his band right now and she just kind of was like, no. No, <laughs> not mentioning that. <laughs> this, uh, are you looking... I mean, I... I feel like this is a, a quest that I might be able to aid you on if you're looking for help. I am a paladin, and I have a sense of duty to kill undead creatures. You'd get to kill a lot of them. Uh, this definitely sounds like my type of quest. I don't know how I'm going to run two characters, but... No, we need to find another person. <laughs> I gotta find at least another temporary person. Or like, here's the character. Or, uh, anyways. Um, if you wish to join us, we wouldn't say no to help. But I'll warn you, I'm a bad druid. I'm bad with my other weapons. We have a bard who is not allowed to sing, or he summons demons. Uh, we have, what is Janfire, a halfling monk? <laughs> yep. <laughs> we have a halfling monk and a triton. This sounds... That's what we got. Like a, like a great crew, uh, <laughs> I... Um, we're also completely off course from where we started out. This sounds lovely. Uh, 
I don't know how this could go wrong. <laughs> don't say that, it always does. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't keep a straight face with that. Um, well, <laughs> hopefully once we connect with the other two of our group, we'll be then finding a boat to get off, get ourselves off this island and hopefully closer to Mooncarn, if not there. Um, is the vampire in Mooncarn? No, but rumor has it one of our artifacts is, though we received a, or our bard received a message from an acquaintance of ours saying she was in trouble, so we might end up having a bit of a side quest due to said vampire. Well, this definitely sounds like a situation where you need an extra set of hands. And I do look like an extra set of hands that <laughs> would be willing to help you out in this situation. I'm, I'm hoping you're okay with the possibility of death just about every time we go do anything. Because that's how that usually ends up. That's what being a paladin is. is death, though. I mean, just making sure because... Yes. The friend we were traveling with before Florin. I'm Kaifira, by the way. Ah, uh, um, yes. And this is Florin. Before Florin, oh. we forgot to warn her and in the first battle we got in, she almost died. Oh, uh, we, yes. We lived. <laughs> That's, yes, no, uh, almost dying is, is a part of the general uh, understanding. Then we'd love to have you. Great. Uh, I'm been starved for some kind of adventure. When do we go? We have to go find our two friends first. Alright. Oh, I didn't even describe this is a black dragonborn. Uh, that's all I got for you. He's a black dragonborn. He's got a chain shirt on. And how do you spell his name? B-A-X-L-O-N. Oh. Uh, do you have a means of travel? Uh, well, that's part of the we need to get a ship. I actually, um, have access to a ship if you'd like. I mean, it's not a super huge ship, uh, but it would be enough to carry us. I think, if it uh, would be enough to carry us, we can make it work. If you are willing to share, that is. Uh, yes, um... I'm thinking I might he might have to have a crewmate to uh, help sail the ship though. Janfire knows all about sailing. Janfire knows some things about sailing, so all right, well Lauren, what are the chances we're easily going to find Teddy and or Janfire? A together B without finding them causing tr trouble. Um, those are, those are pretty low. Well, um, so I just want to tell you, I probably will at least need to have my first mate with me. Um, his name's, um, Elgier, uh, just so for sh sailing the ship, mind you, right? Uh, but, um, uh, yes, we, um, if you are almost ready, we can get the ship ready while you find your friends, uh, the, um, ship's right here. He points it on the dock. It's, um, just, uh, it's... It's, it's not a huge ship, but it, it definitely, um, will hold you and bring you where you need to go and supplies and stuff, right? It's not like, it's not a barge, so that's a bonus for y'all. Some <laughs> yeah, of you have... there, done that. Yeah. So, yeah. Y'all might have to help a, a little bit with some, uh, sailing or some kind of whatever. It's a fairly small crew, but, uh... I think we could uh, make some accommodations work. That's fine. I think we can. We, we would be more than happy to help. All right. It looks like a deal. He puts his little dragonborn hand out to shake. I fear it shakes his hand. Great. Um, we'll Teddy. Find friends and... Yes. Let's go. Uh, yes. Let Let's go find Teddy before they, he gets into too much trouble. Teddy, what oh, are you doing? 
Oh wow. Uh, we need to go find we need to go find somebody that can do some divination magic. Ooh. A diviner. A great diviner. Uh. Um I do you actually don't... think we can find this, or are we just on a wild goose chase? Well, we do. We gotta find it. And what's your strategy? Asking around for anybody who knows anybody that does magic. Okay. Well, um, roll investigation. Yeah, because I am great. At investigating. Twelve. There, um, you don't find a lot of people are closed-lipped, but, like, the people you do talk to, there are not a lot of, uh, magic users in this town. So there's not a lot of magic users. Is there as a place in, they congregate? As in, there aren't really magic. There are, there's, um, an alchemist store, shop, um, but other than that, there's no, like, actual, like, wizard's guild, or there's no... Um, alchemist, then. We're going to the alchemist. Okay. You go to the alchemist. The second best option is get a magic scroll that can help us find it, right? Well, that, that, that'll work, right? Only if I can open up the file. Okay, but op okay, open. Open the file. Nope, 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 okay. I just, okay. All right, so you go to Ansys uh, Potions is the name of the shop. Potions and magic scrolls, right? Well, let me see what's in here as soon as this file loads. Potions and magic scrolls. Uh... Um, uh, it's a little uh, building. Uh, it smells of perfume and incense. Um... The, there's a short gnome woman who is the um, shopkeeper. Um, well, as soon as you enter, there's a there's a young girl there, and uh, she's just like, oh, "Are you adventurers?" Yes, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Wow, of course I we are. I love adventurers, and um, and is just like, "Sophie, come back here. Come on, come down." Calm down. It's all right. Um, We've been on many great adventures. How, Incredible adventures. How can I help you today? I'm so sorry about my daughter. She's just very excited about adventures. So alchemy shop, right? Got a good alchemy, alchemical supplies. Our supplies are quite limited. Um, I don't know if you don't you've... happen to know any uh, mages no we get all of our supplies well so we get all of our magical supplies either from farther in xylical or from honiano um they get shipped to us but um w there's been smuggling at night and a lot of our stuff's been stolen i'm pretty limited i i only have a few potions left that's all i have do you have maybe any magic scrolls? I don't have any magic scrolls. I'm so sorry. No magic scrolls. No. I'm really sorry. Mm. I I wish I had some more things. It's just that, you know, people have been stealing and the, there's just been thieving and it's just been really overwhelming. You wouldn't happen to know anybody that could uh, maybe find somebody. Like if I needed to find somebody... Do you know anybody who could do that? In this town? No, I don't know anybody in this town that could do that. Anywhere close by? Uh, um. No, I, I probably, your best bet would be to go to Honiano to, like, 
How the, far away is Honiano? Well, that's the next continent. You could you could probably just, you know, if you were sailing, or if you were going to Undare, you could go the other direction and and catch someone there. I We're just so small. There are some bigger cities in Umdare as well. Which well, one's closer? Um, if you look at your map. Okay, well. <laughs> What'd you, you do? Send it in the in the in the in the group chat. Yeah. I don't have that open. Um, well, maybe you should do that. Let's the, see uh, I have to open here. The uh. Uh. Looks like. Hmm. Looks like Umdare would be closer. Why is that kind of weird? Oh, yeah, okay. Ugh. Oh, yeah, we're at Wimbledon Piers. <laughs> oh, that's still going to be a long time. Is there a place in Zyziko? Um. Well. Zyziko? Yeah, there should. I mean, if you. If you want to stop. I mean, how are you traveling? Are you traveling by land? Are you traveling by ship? We're traveling the fastest way we can. Okay, well, if you're traveling by land, you could go um, into the, um, excuse me, you could go east into the heart of the continent, but you're going to need paperwork and a lot of uh, traveling uh, papers. They're very strict uh, once you kind of get past this town. Um, you could also travel by boat. And then about a day's travel south, you could catch one of the next towns in their... their um, is a larger town there that probably will have somebody who could um, do some scrying, do some of those skills for you. South, one day in a boat? Yeah, depending on how fast your boat goes. Sounds, sounds like a plan. Great. Okay, whatever you do, don't go directly west either. Why is that? Yeah, why not? The I mean, there's a crazy, crazy island out there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we won't go that way. I can't remember what I called it, but uh. Uh, silent refuge. Yeah. Cannibals. That's what those people are. Cannibals, huh? Yeah. Whew. Don't uh, go there. I thought I heard they ate. Yams and yucca. Oh, yeah. They eat yams and yucca uh, because that's the only thing they can get. But if you stop there, they'll use the yams and yucca to poison you to eat you. Wow. Wouldn't want that to have the poison. Oh. Yeah. Oof. Tough yeah. times. Yeah, okay. Well, I hope you uh, figure out your smuggling problem. Because that sounds tough really bad. I hope someone figures that out for you. Yeah. Uh, I know. Hopefully hopefully that gets figured out soon. Um, pirates and all. But yeah. Um, good luck finding your magic user person. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, Janfire. We know where we're going. Now we just need a boat. Are you gonna go Let's like go to the dock. 
And well, uh, I bet we can uh, find somebody to commission for a vote. Uh, yes, that sounds good. Sounds like a plan. We should do that. Okay. Uh, you go like to. Hey, you're Sorry. You go towards the docks. Uh, Kyphera and Florin, you go to look. Okay. Um. Kyphera. Mm -hmm. Actually, everyone, just roll perception. Eighteen. Seven. Um, Twenty. Okay. Uh, Falorin, uh, yeah. Kyphira and Janfire, you notice one another. The other Falorin and Teddy just don't. But, like, as you're looking... I just start waving over to Janfire to be like, here, here. <laughs> I, I think Kyphira is, like, um, is, like, getting bit by something. She keeps waving her hands oh, that, frantically. That sounds awful. I don't think we should go that way. I mean, I don't yeah, want to get bit by cool. she's, she's getting bit sounds by. Sounds horrible. It sounds like a horrible place to be. I don't. Okay, I mean, we'll just we we gotta get this boat. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll try to skirt around her though. <laughs> yeah, just give her a wide berth. Yeah. I don't want whatever she's got. No. We found your, as you guys get. Oh, did you walk up to us? Well, I, I assume as I saw you guys kind of starting to walk, I would have walked towards you a bit. Yes. Um, I thought we found your dragonborn. Oh, good. What, uh, did he have the sword? He has a sword, not our sword. However, he wants to come to help us, and he oh, has he a wants ship. to join the band. He has oh, this is I great because we needed a boat. Band. You wait, you didn't mention the band? No. Well, why didn't you mention the band? Because he has a ship, and he's like operating. the whole thing is the band. He has a ship, so we have transportation. It'll be him and his first mate and us. Okay, that sounds great. We're headed south. Why are we heading south? To head to get to the next town. I thought she said head west. No, she no, said... No, she said don't head west. She said go south. You aren't there, Kaifira. <laughs> um, but why are we going south? Why not to back west towards Mooncarn? No, we need to go south to find the guy, to find somebody that can do some divination magic. Why? What did Zimia tell you? She's in trouble. And did she tell you where she was? No, she did not. She said she's on some island in the in the lake of the... Was it the lake? Yeah, the, the lake of the, of the Trace Warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one north, right, where we ended yes. up? Yes. Like, that's what I thought. So Wait, I thought the whole IFC was the lake of the... No, that's... It's north. The Lake of the Trace Warriors is way north. Oh. Hold on. And the... I can... Let me... Let me bump you out a map. Uh... I think no. this one will work. I thought the sea was... No, it's the ISC, not... The Lake of the Trace Warriors is the one up north. Oh, that's way smaller. Yeah. Yeah. So should we not head north? Hey, look at my big brain. We're going north, boys. Thought we were going west. Now, okay, Janfire, you have no idea where we're going, okay? What about the vampire killing stuff we've been trying to find? It's, um, we'll get back to it. So we're going to go north into vampire territory never mind we have a paladin who wants to kill undead things yeah well, you're like right we're here we're, um, per we're perfectly fine now well we'd be more fine than we would have been like no wait mooncarn is like it's way over here yeah. i guess it's no, this Moon one Karn is like way over but oh. she's way up here yeah all right if you think that's the best thing to do She's too powerful to leave potentially at the mercy of a vampire. 
Wait, I didn't tell you she was at the mercy of a vampire. I said potentially. I mean, she's pretty much at the mercy of a vampire, so... Yeah, I figured. Let's go. We'll go meet up with our... new party member. Not band member. <laughs> I should ask him if he's going to join the band. No. No. Is it a him or is it a her? Him? Mm -hmm. Okay. Him. Um... And his first mate? Mm -hmm. What is the first mate? You didn't tell us that. I'm just you just said his name was Elgin or what, Elgy or whatever. But okay, I. That's fair enough. Why don't we go meet up with um, Vaxlon and Elgir and we will go north. <laughs> head we'll head up. straight up to the Lake of the Trace Warriors. As we get closer, I can learn locate a person or a creature, and that might be able to help us, but it doesn't have a very long range. It would probably only help us when we get close. Very close. Like, I still need to be better druid before I can consider that trick. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, because locate object, if she's still wearing the choker... Right, but it's still like a thousand feet. Yeah. Man, I just I wish um, we had a faster way to travel, right? Well, nice. uh, I don't remember when Florin joined you. Florin joined us when we were in that place with all the hats and and the uh, Aquila. Aquila, Aquila. The one with all the guilds. Yeah, the guilds. She was hanging out with the the druid guild. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna stop here. We'll uh, recon uh, in two weeks to figure out what we're gonna do. Uh, yeah. Or three weeks. I guess it's technically three weeks. Cause it's two. We're skipping two weeks. Mm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Good times. Uh, maybe by then I'll have some episodes updated. <laughs> maybe I'll find a friend to play this Dragonborn. Okay. Yeah, or, you know, the Probably rules not. of our... What? Uh, the rules of the contest fleshed out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely get on those contest rules. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. Oh, good times.